Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott, and it's testimony time again, uh, trying to get these out on Mondays um, as things happen on the outreach over the weekend or whatever. But today's reading is Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, and God's Word says this, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into the house, and his windows being open in his chambers toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word. I ask that you speak to your people, that they will be blessed as I share this testimony uh, with your words. Speak to me and through me directly to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, let me just hit share. I always ask you guys to pray and hit the share button. Let's just do that uh, together right now. Hold on, and then we'll get this going. I just wanted to share with you. My wife asked me to get some of these testimonies out. There is two in one here. Um, the first one I'm going to share is uh, what happened yesterday. As many of you know, uh, President Trump had declared a national state of emergency a couple days ago and encouraged uh, gatherings uh, to be around 250 or below. And I was pleased to say that uh, our home church here in the Orange County, California, The Rock, um, got creative and split up their services. We normally have Saturday service at 4 and 6 p.m. and then Sunday service at 9 and 11, 15 a.m. And what they did is they encouraged people that might be sick and or people that were elderly or a little bit more susceptible to possibly this coronavirus to just stay home and watch live. And they ended up going live over all the broadcast and then added another broadcast at 6 p.m. last night, but still had uh, regular church services Saturday, Sunday, and uh, and that was awesome. And they moved the Saturday ones to the bigger worship center, and uh, which gave people a little uh, bit of an option to spread out and not be so close. So it was awesome. They did not um, close up shop. They just pushed forward. And the Lord blessed uh, The Rock. And I they believe they said they had over 10,000 thousand or eleven thousand connections on the live broadcast which is so awesome so i'm thankful for that but our ministry the park ministry lunch with the bible and friends uh through one accord crusades we decided to uh uh continue on with our services as usual even though the homeless population is really really um one of the, the, the ones that they would say is the most acceptable because they don't have a way to be tested or anything. And that doesn't bother us or stop us. I mean, we take some extra precautions. Uh, we did no fist bumps or high fives, maybe an elbow, elbow, you know, a bump instead. And we just uh, made sure to try to clean everything and make sure that we're not spreading anything. But I wanted to share with you that Daniel verse, um, as it was a recommendation in our stance yesterday, was that we were not going to uh, share shut down services or uh, live in fear or whatever, but uh, that we would do uh, the services regularly. Uh, and that was awesome. And because of that, I truly believe the Lord shined upon us uh, and we had more people more food and more blessing than we normally have. I mean, we had pizza coming out of our ears uh, from two sources, from Patrick and his kids, and then uh, Coast to Coast showed up, uh, and they also brought two cases of bananas. We also had uh, water bottles and everything, so that was awesome, and uh, yeah, we just, there was more and more and more. While everybody else was running around looking for food and trying to find food, the Lord just brought it to us at the park. So that was really cool. And the message went forth and some people received Jesus, people received hope, and uh, we uh, were there for them. And that was the, the one testimony I wanted to share. And I also wanted to add one more in there. Um, please forgive me as I'm talking fast. I'm just fired up and I want to get this done quickly. So uh, it's not too long for you all. But uh, if should you need any help, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS, 1-855-70-JESUS. The other testimony I have to say was that I've been getting some resistance for my posts about my stance on churches. Uh, closing, as I'm very adamant about that, but I do also respect that Romans chapter 13, verse 1 and 2 does say if uh, that we are to submit to the authorities. And if a 
church leader, a pastor has uh, maybe an Assemblies of God or Foursquare, someone that they have to answer to, and uh, they've been told that they have to keep their uh, services down to a minimum and they decide to go live or something, uh, that's uh, in accordance with the Bible. They should listen, and we respect that. But uh, as uh, some people were getting on me about that, uh, a gentleman said some things negatively about our ministry and whatnot, and a friend of ours had stepped up and shared with us how the outreach ministry had blessed her, that she was down and out for years, hooked up on drugs and and uh, all of that, and the ministry at the park uh, with the team over there, which actually started at uh, Carl's Jr., had uh, brought her hope and the encouragement, and she uh, was thankful for that. And she shared how she is now sober, and she has two uh, precious daughters. They're uh, kids. They're actually twins, and is doing way better now. That was a praise report that came in in the face of adversity. So I just wanted to share those things with you. Please keep praying. Get out there. Be of help. Um, serve people. Lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one eight five five seventy Jesus. And perhaps you don't know this Jesus that we talk about and that we uh, mention here on our crusades and every live broadcast. And today you want to make a choice for him. It's real simple. Romans 10, 8 and 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It also goes on to say in Romans 10, chapter chapter 10, verse 13, that for all who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. And that means you. Um, and you can do that today. Just bow your heads with me and pray. If you want to receive Jesus, I ask that the Holy Spirit will touch you right now. Perhaps you have never said yes to Jesus. Today is the day. Now is the time. Or perhaps you're in a backslidden state, just struggling in sin, and you don't know if you're going to make it to heaven. Remember, tomorrow's not promised. The devil wants you to wait to get to heaven so you can go to hell. As are straight up words. And I ask that you speak to your people. If you want to come to Jesus, just do as the word says. Say, Jesus, I need you. Come into my heart. I admit that I'm a sinner and I ask you to forgive me. I confess the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you need anything at all, give us a call. one 70 jesus Just wanted to encourage you. And it seems as if my wife doesn't like the backdrop. Sorry, honey, I can't go out in the living room because people are out there. They come in and out, and it interrupts the train of thought and what things are going. And uh, I picked this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> when the weather is better, I'll do it outside. I went out there to go outside, darling. But it was just way too windy and just yuck. God bless you all. We love you. <laughs>